Alright, who's excited for this? Holy frick. I am not excited. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Freaking, freaking Chica there. Freaking Freddy. Oh my gosh. I am so not ready for this. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I promised myself that I would play Five Nights at Freddy's 2 um, when it came out. Like, I am very familiar with the first game. I have to admit, I watched, you know, people play it on YouTube. You know, their sort of um, personal reactions and, you know, opinions on the game, as well as, you know, their personal strategies and all that stuff. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, this game. I watched somebody else play it, the, like, the, the pre-release version, because they got early access and all that. Darn them. But bless them all the way. And it looks pretty interesting compared to the um the first game so i see that there are not a lot of options in terms of gameplay and stuff so i can't really adjust the volume accordingly i have it on like the second to last um like audio button here like if i were to lower it anymore it would completely beat the game and i guess i would essentially defeat the purpose anyways uh Ooh, boy, I am not ready. New game. Oh, um, okay, grand reopening, I know that. <clears throat> also, I am playing with this with a tablet instead of a mouse because I am a dumbins and I lost the little USB bit for my wireless mouse. Okay, 12 a.m. First night. It is like 8.27 p.m. right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so not ready. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Did it crash? Okay, it didn't Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, hello? Bueno? Hello, hello? Hola. Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fadbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode. So Fire when it gets engineers. quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, I'm that's your me. office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. Oh, gosh. So, hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put oh, it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, I called the S. mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a life, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. 
Uh, check the light, put on the spray head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good gosh, I am not ready for this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, -na 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 -na. uh first game. Okay, all of them are still there. Okay, I know they move around. I do appreciate how in the first Five Nights at Freddy's they use, um, Toreador. That bit and all that. Um, because I've played it once before, back when I was a freshman in high school. Let me tell you, it was not an easy piece. But the part that they do have them play is pretty fun to play. And my favorite part was not that one. Oh gosh. Where are you? Hey, buddy, old boy, how you doing? Oh, what's up? Oh no. Where are you? Oh, hey, hey, hi, 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 hi. interested in what you have to offer and I know that's imminent death I, I I'm not I'm not in the mood to, to die anytime soon I apologize but no oh my goodness oh not gonna lie that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be but oh it's just nerve-wracking all the suspense and whatnot oh gosh no I I am not no how, how do I exit how do I exit no, I don't. I don't want to play. I don't want to play. Come on. Okay. Um. Instead of exiting, I uh, ended up exiting the game entirely. Whoops. My bad. I'm. I. I'm pretty sure that it has a sort of autosave feature after you complete a certain night. You know, it has that whole continue thing. And if not, well, I'm gonna have to just drudge through all that anticipation. And actually, I was not expecting this game to have such an impact on me. It's just like the whole, you know, waiting them waiting for them to come to you and see what they're gonna do and with this whole like new added mask feature it's like oh what if I don't get it on in time like I'm starting to think that's a possibility or something oh my goodness but freaking freaking what, what's his name like I kinda looked up a short bio of the new animatrons um, once like you know after the game came out and everything and they called I think they call him Toy Bunny and I know the um, the new Chica is called Toy Chica but 
Oh my gosh. Anyways, uh... I hope you uh, um, may have found this um, little gameplay of it, a little informational, hopefully, and that I am dumb, and I should not be in possession of wireless, um, you know, mouse, mice, things, or anything. But, surprisingly, the tablet works very smoothly with this game. Oh, well, kind of, my tablet's a little old, so, you know, just the slightest twitch of the wrist will kill me, eventually. It's happened to me before when I play Contagion with a friend. I ended up killing somebody by accident, but luckily they, they didn't <laughs> they didn't know that they got shot in the head and they blamed it on infection instead. So um, anyways, if you uh, failed in the middle of the video, that's okay, I don't mind. And, you know, I hope you have a good day, and if it's not a good day, I hope you have a day at least. You know, treat yourself to a little something, you know, eat a little something, drink a little something. Sleep as much as you want or as much as you need because you deserve it. And, uh, see you on the flip side. Hopefully, yeah.